Hello from Bali. My name is Stephanie Ka. Welcome to my channel. Loyalties in social tango. What comes into your mind when you think of tango as a social dance? People want to have fun. People want to dance a lot. People want to dance well. People maybe want to meet a girl or a guy for dating. What, what, what? Ego, ego, ego. Many people act as if they have written the word ego on their front head. Sure, it is human to have an ego and we should always remember ourselves first when it comes to well-being. But that does not automatically mean that we have to ignore other people's interests and needs. Loyalties are feelings of friendship, support or duty towards someone or something. The dance floor is a small universe, a tiny little copy of society. Like in every society, behavior between people mirrors education, manners and culture. Do we support and help others? Are we interested in other people's problems? Do we act in loyalty to our tongue peers? What I want to address here is the support and assistance on and next to the dance floor. It is all about taking and giving, like in the real world. Are you sure you are ready to share something? Or do you belong to the group of people who are just taking, taking, taking? It might be wise from time to time to reflect. And am I giving fun to others? How is my mood? Do I bring problems from home or from work to the milonga? Do I get into a bad mood not seeing the right dancers for me in the milonga? Am I sure that I'm not too picky that I share my dance time also with beginners? Did I socialize enough and know many people or am I a complete stranger in the milonga and expect everyone to dance with me? Are my skills good enough for those dancers I intend to dance with? When it comes to dating, do I signalize the right intention so in a more sophisticated way? You probably will think, sure, I'm doing all that. I'm very social, I'm very friendly to everybody. I'm nice, I dance with everybody. Uh, never, I am in a bad mood. Sure, but if everybody would be like that, then why I'm seeing men dancing with women just because of the selfish fun to be close to the opposite gender, preferable with young and pretty beginners, because those don't know how to avoid situations like that. So there are many men misusing tango. Why I'm seeing women dancing non-stop as if there is no next milonga to come? every tanda, every single tanda and taking selfishly away the chance for other women to dance because only very few men in the milonga that night and they still have pleasure doing that seeing other women sitting for hours for me quite not understandable why I'm seeing good dancers standing around for ages, not dancing a tanda, uh, just standing there and waiting for the preferred partner to come. And while they are waiting and waiting, and maybe after an hour they will go again because the partner did not come.
kann. Ja? Abandon, they abandon many women who are waiting desperately for a dance. Okay, I understand that the way we behave and what we expect in a milonga is different from person to person. That's, that's totally okay. But what really matters is loyalty. Loyalty to, to our tango peers. When we're looking for fun, then let's be funny ourselves. When we're looking for good dances, then give good dances by yourself. You cannot do so if you're stuck at the same level for ages and ages without spending time to learn and practice for better skills. I have heard many dancers complaining about the abilities of uh, others, but they by themselves dance really bad and don't have basics. And they do not even realize it. Be realistic and honest to yourself. Some men are misusing Argentine tango to have a moment close in their arms. Probably they are not aware of doing bad. They possibly even think the ladies are sending the same pleasure. Maybe one of hundred women just want to have, just want the same, possibly. But the rest, guys, the rest, believe me, is looking for much more sensibility than only the closeness to the opposite gender. Women want to be embraced well, sensing a clean and fragrant body, being led with a solid musicality, without being pushed around. Women like to be treated in a well-mannered way. Ladies are expecting some basic claims to enjoy dancing. Even every man, actually, every man with a little bit of understanding for the female gender can anticipate these basic needs. On the other hand, I have seen men, humble and shy beginners, asking for a dance, apologizing for their poor skills, getting discouraged by rejecting. I have seen women going home exasperated after hours of waiting and waiting for a dance. A milonga is a tiny universe, a small community where offs and no's are very much visible. I am asking myself, what can we do better that the milonga becomes a better place for all of us? I am asking a little bit loyalty in every single milongero and milongera. Let's get rid of some selfishness. Think what might be his, her intention and thoughts. What can I do to make her or him feel better? We do not need to play Mother Teresa all night long, but once in a while that would be nice. If you like my video, kindly like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Ciao.